What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beardbox, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. So, last time, did we even do anything? Oh, there's another conversation to be had. <laughs> hey, Leon! This gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it, what it's for? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I don't fucking know. Why does this kid always come to me for advice? <gasps> That's not Jesus even a gummy Christ. Uh, ask Sid, he should know. Leon's kind of a fucking idiot. Uh. Wait, Sora, take this with you. Tained Earthshine. This stone this sold? This stone ah. holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying it for luck. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? I don't know, mm. yeah, Jesus Christ. Ah. I don't know, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Fuck if I know. <laughs> now he's like contemplating like ah. What is my life? I was doing so well in the self-esteem department, and now you're just making me feel so stupid. Aww. You were making me so mad. <laughs> also, I realized we Took all that time to get to the underground, and, uh... Oh. Yeah. Was it under the bed? I think you have to talk to Merlin, and he can send you down there. Oh. I, I needed to unlock it from the alley anyway, but we were just... I was very close, but oh, so far. Look! So. Oh, oh. Jesus, Excuse did me. you wake up just a little <laughs> bit for the recordings? <laughs> like, at all? The rest of the day, you were completely fine, but the second we sit down to record, you're like, Oh, I'm having fun! <laughs> <laughs> I just need to lay down for a minute. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. You should be. Also, I, for I forget what I need to do with this stone. Eat it. Never mind. Fuck you. Stick it up your butt. It might keep you uh, calm on airplanes. I, I thought I was supposed to give it to the fairy, fairy, god fairy godmother, but. Oh, well, didn't they say to take it to Sid? No, that was the gummy block that we found. Oh. Boing. Oh! What a Nailed tease. it! <laughs> yeah, I don't like the fact that these move. Like, honestly, controlling it is hard enough. Mm -hmm. Having moving platforms <laughs> is torture. It's just to make it feel more like a platformer, even if it sucks. Alright, just because you can make a game feel like a platformer doesn't mean you should. Mm. You don't want to see, um, I don't know, Splatoon as a platformer? That's the single player. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, fine, you don't want to see, um, uh... Um, <laughs> uh, uh, uh... Just, just give it up, babe. It's okay. Okay. Also, uh, Gears of War, Rock Band... Uh, <laughs> <Rock band> platformer. <laughs> Mass Effect. You know, there's plenty of places you could have gone. Yeah. What do you got there? Hey. It looks like Baird. Well, if it ain't a gummy block. <laughs> What's this one for? This is a terrible, goofy impression. <gasps> what I need to do is go wake me up. <sighs> You're kidding me. You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads in our space ain't no playground. There's a lot we don't know. So what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to the other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy. I didn't know. No hard feelings, all right? <laughs> Please don't kill me. Uh... Well, I guess I could lend y'all a hand then. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You want one on your ship, right? Oh, that's how we get the new world. Well, that fucking sucks. Ah. I mean, I'll install it for you. But I got this thing I gotta go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? This fucking thing! <laughs> Just ah. this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was falling apart. Too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the third district. Look for a big fire sign. Oh, I feel like we saw a fire sign. B what was that? Mm. The bell of the gizmo shop's the ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, shop, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there, waiting for you. Sid. Mm. Mm. Uh, so here's the choice, Andrea. Uh huh. Do you want to go to a new world right now? It, it's just a short world. It's one that we have to go back to multiple times. Or do you want to go fight a boss? Mm, new world, new world. New world. Probably a good plan. 
Why do you not want to fight a boss right now? Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> do you think you're not trained enough, or is it like a boss that you know is kind of a pain in the butt? It's a, it's a boss that I know is a pain in the butt. Ooh. Okay. Uh. I don't. I don't know if I. I'll just tell it now so everyone knows the joke. It's the armor again. But the thing in here? Yeah. Oh, but okay. But it's like improved. It's stronger. Improved armor? Yeah. Ah. Improvder. Improvder? Fucking nailed it. Just ah. nailing it so hard today. <laughs> Taking that hammer and fucking nailing it. Ah, bink. Yeah, right. it might be best to wait for that until next session then so you can grind a little more. Well, I mean, how many episodes do we have right now? This one's our fourth one for this session. That's not enough. Oh, so we got Sakta Merlin. Hey! Oh, that book! So Sid asked you to bring this. Thank you. You wish to know what kind of book it is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked Sid to prepare it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here somewhere for now. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you like. My best regards to Sid for preparing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm the fairy godmother! Uh, Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart. He became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. Can he regain himself? Nope, he's fucked! <laughs> nope, he's dead! <laughs> he's a stone forever! <laughs> yes, but only a spirit! Because he's dead! Uh, now, watch! Bibbity boppity boo Learned how to summon Simba! <gasps> oh! Yeah, okay, I, I know how to... Thank you. Whenever you call, he will help you. If you find any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry, when the worlds are restored, they will return there. Sora, please help save them. But what if I want to keep them? I mean, don't worry, I will. Uh. Keep them. Bye. Right after she said you can summon him to help you, my immediately my immediate thought was during the song of No one's saying do this. No one's saying do that. Meanwhile, Sora's going, do this, do that. <laughs> I'ma need you to fuck those guys up. <laughs> All right, Simba, all the Heartless are dead. Those are humans. Stop that. No one's saying stop that. <laughs> no one's saying see there. <laughs> see here. Don't kill the people. <laughs> oh, there's a sparkle. Do you recognize it? Is it poo? I gotta stop asking you questions. Kind of takes away the suspense. Wait, really? Oh, but it's so cute. Oh, I guess I, you could kind of tell from the art style. Yeah. That's I, really cute. I was cute. just kidding. I'll still ask you questions. Okay. I didn't know they were in this game. Yep. Aw. He's so yellow. Which is weird because his name is Pooh. Ah. <laughs> that was the worst high five that ever. That was. <laughs> Do you want to try again? No. Okay. That log is massive. Hi there. What's wrong? Hmm. Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. Cool. Excuse me. Oh. Thinking hmm. Thinking's hard. To say goodbye to poo. You flush poo? it. Uh, yes. But you are poo. Wait a second. You're poo? What? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Poo for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. Oh. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play Pooh Sticks. I don't want to play that game. Yeah. Every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. Smackerel. But now, everyone is gone. All oh, my friends big and, shoes. and my favorite honey tree too. But who, everyone must honey have gone gone. away oh. while I was napping. I think. 
How old is Pooh? Like, oh, who knows? how long is, has the book Maybe been around? Well, how old is he as a character? Like, I guess. He's a teddy bear. How do I say goodbye to myself? So, no. Okay. <laughs> he is eternal. <laughs> oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. Because he sounds like he's 80. Oh, well, his voice actor is like 80. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, the bees! Okay, well, he, well, he's not 80, but he's an older gentleman. Mm. Ah, oh, there's... Like... There's the music. Ah! Ooh! So, final, so yeah, we're at the 100 Acre Wood! Yay! So, like the Coliseum, this is one where we come back to every so often after finding lost pages. Oh, okay. Because we're trying to restore the book. To bring back all of, uh, Pooh's friends. Aw, oh, that's cute! I like that. I don't know what that said, but I know we have to go here, so don't oh, worry about it. <laughs> okay. And I know time has gone over, don't worry, no, but we're just gonna finish this uh, real quick. Okay. What does that say? Sauters? Mr. Sanders. <gasps> Bernie! Bernie! <laughs> Ring also. No, Renig also. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming in! Ah. You've been warned. Oh, no more honey. There's no more honey left. You should be a narrator. If only the honey <laughs> would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Knock, knock. <gasps> honey tree. Ah. He went through the pot. He did. A little bit of Whoops. clipping there. Look at all that pot. Hello? Oh, look, a thing. <laughs> you don't need this elixir, right? <laughs> it's not honey flavored. So. Stars now. Ah. Fresh air. Ah. Now it's cold. It's uh, kind of weird that he has pictures of like specific bees on his wall. Are those his favorite bees to eat the honey from? Um. No, I, I, I just think he's a bear. And the bees make honey, so it's hmm. like it's like hanging hang a picture of God in your room. I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in some weird abstract way. <laughs> oh hey. Let me guess. So you'd like to know what happens next. Well, doesn't that suck? Uh, Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? If not, you'll never hear the end of the story! Aww. <laughs> see, really, he's the bad guy. I could see that. He's not the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Owl. He's the smart one, or he pretends to be the smart one. And I think he's like actually not an idiot, but not smart either. Yeah. I forget how to get out of here. Speaking of not smart, there we go. Ah. Turn to the outside world. And now we'll go fight the boss next time on Beardbox. Oh. So thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.